Okay, so once crude oil is pulled from the ground in places like Nigeria, it's not ready to use yet. It has to move. A lot. This is the midstream part of the journey, where oil is transported and stored, sometimes for weeks, even months. From export terminals like Bani or Kuiboa on Nigeria's coast, the oil is pumped into massive crude oil tankers, sometimes the size of skyscrapers laid on their side. These ships then sail down the west coast of Africa, through the Atlantic Ocean, around the Cape of Good Hope, and into ports like Durban, Cape Town, or Saldana Bay, where South Africa receives, stores, or transfers the crude. Once it arrives, the oil is offloaded into storage terminals, connected by a maze of pipelines, tanks, and rail lines that keep the crude moving toward refineries. And this is the entire midstream operation. Tankers, insurance, port fees, pipeline tariffs, all of it adds costs and risks. Storms, piracy, political delays, even a single misshipment can disrupt the whole system. So yeah, by the time crude even reaches the refinery, it's already traveled thousands of kilometers, crossed oceans and passed through one of the most expensive logistics systems in the world.